Hey everybody, this is Aaron Anto, and this is my review of the Edelkrone Motion Kit. Back in August 2014, I reviewed the original Action and Target modules, which was Edelkrone's earlier entry into the motion control space. Now, in 2017, they're back with a greatly improved motion kit, so let's have a look. Edelkrone learned a lot since 2014, and all of those lessons learned are now reflected in the design of the new motion kit. As of this review, the basic motion kit comes with everything you see here. The slide module, head module, and focus modules, plus accessories. There is also an additional pro pack for heavier cameras like the red or black magic cinema cameras, which I'll have a review on as well. I highly recommend that you watch the official Elkrone Motion Kit video manual as it explains how to assemble, calibrate, tweak, and troubleshoot the rig. And it just has a lot of great general information about the Motion Kit as well. So what's new with the Motion Kit? Well, first off, it is now a full four axis motion control rig, giving you control over slide, pan, tilt, and focus. It's now all controlled via your smartphone, which is great as Elochrone can easily push new firmware and software updates to you at any time. The motion kit also does away with having to keyframe in movements, which is a huge time saver when setting up shots compared to other four axis motion control systems on the market. Another big improvement, which was a common complaint with the action and target modules, is motor noise. The motion kit's motors, while in operation, run pretty quiet, especially in slower speeds. Of course, at faster speeds, the motors will get louder, but in reality, say in an interview situation, the motor noise shouldn't be a factor when filming. For this review, since I already owned the Slider Plus, I just replaced my old target and action modules with the new motion kit version. After some fine tuning, again thanks to the Edelgrown video manual, I got some really nice shots and came away pretty impressed. With any kind of product launch however, there are always issues and I did encounter a few. First, I may have had a firmware update glitch, which rendered my slider module non-functional. I contacted Elochrone support and they promptly replaced the module and I'm happy to say that it's now working perfectly. Next, it appeared that a few hand screws were originally assembled backwards at the factory, which I easily swapped back into place. My last issue, though it's a minor gripe, is the phone arm that screws into the slide module. I own the iPhone 7 Plus, and when in a case, the phone arm can't really get tight enough to hold the phone at an angle. To fix this issue, I just pointed the phone arm straight up, but it's still a little annoying that it won't tighten down more. On the app side, Adacron is still adding features, but one thing I hope is redesigned is the focus button area. I found it a little difficult to fine tune focus with the button that's small. If somehow the focus area could be enlarged, giving you better control for focus, this would probably solve the issue. Again, a minor gripe, but a gripe nonetheless. I like to point out a really nice design feature that I really liked. The rig has a built-in balance stand, which helps you properly balance the center of gravity on the rig. All you do is balance the camera on the tip of the balance stand, then adjust the side to side and from the back position of the camera until it is able to balance on the stand without tipping. I thought this was a very well engineered idea and works great to adjust the center of gravity. Next, I'd like to show you a quick comparison of slider speeds at 100, 75, and 25%. Then I'll have my conclusion.
So I hope you enjoyed my review of the Edelkrone Motion Kit. I'll be following up this review with additional reviews of the Pro Pack Upgrade and Slider Plus X. So watch for those coming up. Overall, I'm very impressed by the Motion Kit. It's very well thought out and engineered. It's much quieter than the old Action and Target modules. And Edelkrone plans to add additional functionality such as Apple Watch support, Live Mode, and Advanced Composer. I've not used the Motion Kit yet on a shoot, but I'll make sure to update this review with additional information if anything else comes up. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them here and I'll reply back. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.